Today on Grandworks, I'm going to be building a lavalier microphone or a lapel mic, specifically this one. Uh, it's super easy, super cheap, and sounds a lot better than you'd expect. Stay tuned. The mic is made out of a set of earbuds that have an integrated microphone like most earbuds do these days. In fact, you can use whatever set of earbuds you have on hand. But I'm going to suggest a specific model, the Panasonic RPT CM125 earbuds. They are only $10, they're really easy to modify, and overall they don't sound all that bad. For tools, you'll need some sort of wire cutters. I'm using a pair of dykes here. You'll need a glue gun, and then also need a binder clip. The handy thing about this particular set of earbuds is that each earbud has a dedicated wire going all the way down to the headphone jack. That'll make a far cleaner final product. Do not cut here. Yes, that's me just about to snip off the side of the microphone. Good thing I paused to take a picture or else I'd have wasted my $10. Oops, cut the other wire. That leaves you with a headphone jack hooked up to one wire that has both a microphone and one earbud. We need to get rid of that earbud since we're not using it at all. Place your wire cutter just above the microphone and snip. Yeah, it's safe to make these two cuts. The microphone doesn't share any wires with either of the earbuds, so all we're doing is snipping away wires that we're not going to use. This is what it'll look like after those cuts. Pretty clean. If you use other headphones, then it might be more obvious that you snipped off one of the wires. You'll need some sort of clip to keep the microphone close to your mouth. I made my own using a binder clip that's about three quarter inch wide. Fits the mic pretty well. You attach the mic to the binder using some hot glue. Heat up the glue gun, apply a dollop of molten glue to the flat part of the binder, and then just press it into place. That's it. Just clip it onto your shirt and go. Sure, it's not the prettiest thing out there, but it is absolutely functional. See, I wasn't lying. That was super easy to make. But for as easy it is as it is, if it doesn't sound good, then what's the point? Well, you've had an idea already of what it sounds like because this entire video has been narrated using this exact same microphone. But let's do a comparison. I wanna have the exact same audio clip done using this microphone versus a Blue Yeti USB microphone. The latter is a very highly regarded one, costs $99, I would expect it to sound better, but how much better? Let's see. First up, the DIY mic. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? All right, not bad. Now let's hear the exact same clip recorded at the exact same time only this time using the Blue Yeti. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Not bad, right? I mean, yeah, there are some differences there, but they're actually awfully close. Uh, you can hear definitely more of a dynamic range in the Blue Yeti than you can in the DIY mic. Um, but on the same hand, in the Blue Yeti, since I don't have a pop filter, you hear a lot of those plosives the sounds. And it kind of has a harsh grating sound a little bit, where you don't hear that in this particular microphone. And that's for a number of reasons, partially because of the lack of the dynamic range of this mic. But regardless, it kind of has its own appeal, if only for that reason. But you know, e even if it wasn't like that, the fact that this only costs $10, I think is just amazing. And it's absolutely well worth your time to make if you need a lavalier mic at all. Thanks for watching.